still like, I mean, uh, where, where do you want to see yourself motion or uh, maybe astrophysics or where do you see yourself? I mean, what, what do you, or, or, it, or, or do you love uh, physics as it is? Yeah. What perspective do I like uh, physics the most? Mm, That's right. Really, mostly, like kinematics and dynamics. Yeah, so um, I heard... I was studying the roller coasters at, and I was also studying the mo movement and acceleration of things like outward vicinity. You probably have heard of it, right? A little bit. I'm not such a good person as you. So um, let's just uh, so um, just tell me about what inspires you to, uh, I mean, write as well as do such complicated maths and physics. Well, it all started when I was one year old. One year old. Yeah. Actually, when I, uh, I was two years old, I think I got two interviews, as I said, okay. both. Uh, focusing on chemistry okay. and I was able to solve uh, all of the questions that were focused on chemistry and uh, all of the questions and especially the periodic table one because they were the most easy for me so right. that's yeah so um so so many different fields chemistry physics mathematics and also book writing so uh, what else do you plan to do I mean Life, yeah. Uh, if something, I also plan to write a book a few years later about trying to eliminate math anxiety. Okay. Plan to do that. Okay, so uh, do, do you think people are anxious of maths? Well, uh, the other day I was walking past it and I heard about something called math anxiety, in which uh, people think they're not smart enough to solve even a simple math question. Right, so uh, uh, so you do not feel that people do uh, do have that anxiety and uh, everybody can do maths? Yeah. Okay. But, uh, nonetheless, 20% of the population has math anxiety. That means every one in five people has math anxiety. Alright, so um, for the children and the adults having a math anxiety, can you tell to the camera once one inspiring message that you that you like to deliver that you don't have to be scared of mathematics or physics or chemistry or anything that is full of information? Yeah. Try to persevere in the subject you're learning. Don't give up very quickly. That's how you can get rid of your math anxiety. Because math anxiety means even if you try hard, you think you're still not going to uh, get the problem right. But uh, that, that's an incorrect philosophy. Uh, if you try enough, eventually you will get it right. Yeah. So, and what, what uh, uh, among that, so how is your family guiding everything that uh, you're doing? So how are they spelling and what are they doing to uh, encourage you? How's the family spotting all this? What's their reaction? How many people are there in your family? Yeah. Uh, in my inner family, mostly for four. Yeah. Yeah. So I have a brother. Yeah. I have one brother. I have my mom, my dad, and myself. That's so great. And uh, uh, just, uh, well, just uh, coming back to. You've been recognized by President Obama. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, uh, recently you've also published your book. And uh, when, what, uh, after becoming a physics professor, which is the field that you'd like to explore more? I mean, where would you like to go? Uh, or do you have changing plans for the, because uh, you're diving into different fields, yeah? Uh, I really dive into physics and coding. That's what I'm recently doing right now. You're doing coding? Yeah, coding and physics. C++ coding to be exact. 
right. So, uh, yeah. Just continue about it. Okay, can you tell me, uh, so you simulate stuff using your C++? Uh, C++ is really a, th a thing for uh, calculators or yeah. things you want to say. Uh, like, you can write Hello World or yeah. something. So, uh, I mean, how are you relating uh, programming languages with uh, uh, physics? Yeah. so great using technology for physics that's so important in this world and people are doing it and he's doing it such a young age and uh, since this is the global child prodigies award and you, we are celebrating you so there will be a lot of people and a lot of children who will be taking inspiration from you right now so just just one line just one line for every child out there that wants to try something that is out of, uh, I mean that is uh, at your level, or, I mean, he wants to do more mathematics. He wants to do more uh, chemistry, and how? That and is just at one, a yeah. very advanced level. Yeah. Intermediate. So just one line for all of the people that you, that will be watching you through this. Persevere in every subject, as they say, because uh, see, even if a subject is very hard for you, eventually you will get a problem in that subject right, and you can continue on from there until you know most of that subject. So my message is just persevere. Okay, so uh, I think we'll be ending our interviews here. Thank you so much.